One of hip-hop's biggest stars, Sean P. Diddy Combs, facing one of the biggest challenges of his career now, proving his innocence. Since November, the mogul has been hit with multiple lawsuits alleging sexual assault, sex trafficking, and abuse. Combs is denying any wrongdoing as he's working to clear his name. And now those who've worked with Diddy for years are coming forward with their own experience. For former Bad Boy Entertainment artist E. Ness, he rose for, to fame through MTV's reality series Making the Band 2. And he joins us tonight. E. Ness, I really appreciate you making the time. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it. During your time working with Diddy, did you ever witness anything that gave you pause? And I know that you've talked about Diddy wanting six band members to split $7,500. Is that right? Yeah, that was correct. Tell me more about uh, that. Basically, basically we, we was never exposed or witnessed any, anything of that nature. So um, basically when uh, Diddy was around... It was all music talk, all music business, recording industry talk. Yeah. Tell, tell me more about the situation, I, and I appreciate that. You say that you never witnessed anything regarding sexual assault or abuse of women or men by your yeah, former bro, boss. I just want to clear that up. It's a real delicate subject because um, I've did business with him for over 20 years, but when it ever is, you know, sex, sexual allegations involved, it's a real big deal, so we, we'll just have to see as the story develops. But um, dealing with Puff over the over the years, he, he definitely made me a better musician and a stronger writer. And anytime we was around, it was just all music. Can you tell me very briefly just the situation with the six band members splitting seventy five hundred dollars? That seems uh, strange <laughs> to, to me. What what happened there? Um, well, it's just, you know, sometimes, you know, the music business can be kind of lopsided and coming into the game where you have no leverage. We, we was all from, you know, different walks of life. We really had no experience in, in, in the music business. And sometimes it can be lopsided and we was offered 7,500. But um, gradually, I, I understood the linguistics of the contract and um, they came back with, you know, the larger you know, dollar amount as far as uh, assigning. But okay. that was only because I was already um, um, exposed to the music business and the reading and signing of contracts. So I understood the language in the, the contract. And you mentioned in a previous interview that you believe that he is the victim of a smear campaign, pure and simple now. Do you think that the, the women and the one man who have come forward so far are, are making the allegations up? When I say smear campaign, I, want, I mean, it's like a, a monkey see, monkey do kind of thing. You know what I mean? Cassie came out and then others came out. Some of these allegations are over a span of 20 to 30 years. So that's when I said with that. But I don't know. Like I said, you know, no charges have been made. You know, we, we all see it, an unfolding on TV as far as the raid. We're just going to have to sit back and, and see as it plays out in court if charges are actually brung up. Have you had a chance to speak with him at all uh, recently? And what was that conversation like? I've spoken with him maybe 30, maybe 30, maybe 30, 35 days ago at a party out in Coney Island. He seemed in good spirits. He also had both of his sons with him, Justin and Christian. They was in pretty good spirits. So like I said, you know, the energy just totally flipped in the last, since the beginning of the year. So we don't know, but, you know, hopefully, you know what I mean? As things, you know, the story develops, we all get to see the truth behind the matter. I appreciate that. I mean, I think a wait and see approach is absolutely warranted here and nobody wants to proclaim him guilty when he hasn't even been charged with anything. I do want to ask, finally, I know that you've known this man for decades. I know he's been important uh, at, at times in your career. We are seeing people like Justin Bieber, LeBron James coming forward, describing these lavish parties that were incredible, but also strange. We hear other people saying that there was an, an open secret in the industry, that there were issues, uh, that he may have been running an Epstein-like operation. I just want to be very clear you never saw anything like that and what do you think of the allegations very quickly um like i said whenever you know sexual allegations involved is a pretty big deal and i you know i know authorities handle that seriously i want to reiterate i've never been exposed to witness any of these doings and like i said mainly when i was around it was just mostly and you know about music and that's you know i mean you know i'm just standing on that like i can't I can't, you know, you can't, I can't be forced to say anything else that I wasn't exposed to. Of so course, of it, course. It was, a stri it was strictly a, you know what I mean, employee, boss type of relationship, an apprenticeship, but it was all about music. 
Artist Ines, I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.